in philosophy, when you, if you're university students, you may have taken a course in philosophy. Uh, YouTube videos exist on discussing the concept of God or scientific atheism, et cetera, et cetera. God is a subject that's discussed as a topic, just like basketball is a topic or cars are a topic or, you know, the uh, AI is a topic. God is also a what? Topic. And you can make TikTok videos about God or why you don't believe in it. You can make, you know, YouTube videos. You can write articles. You can make fun. You can have cartoons about God. Does that stuff exist? So people can have arguments about God very boldly with the full confidence that the one you're talking about is not there, present in that conversation, witnessing your, your, your obscene behavior in regards to him. These two people, these two groups arguing are arguing about their master. No concept that there's even a possibility that Allah Himself is watching. Listen, people, some people hate the police. Ah, oh, these cops, they're pigs, they're this, they're that. I hate the police. Man, these guys. And then a cop pulls you over. When a cop pulls you over, it comes up to your window. What do you say? Hello, officer. Nice hat. Is everything okay, officer? I thought I was going into the speed limit. What happened? Why didn't you say, hey, pig? Why did All the attitude is gone. Why? Because once you recognize his presence, the authority of the police and what he represents, the officer represents, dawns on you. And then a humility comes over you. Right? So even if you have something to discuss, I don't believe I was going over the speed limit, officer. I was pretty certain that I didn't do that, officer. But ex you will be speaking in what tone? Respectful tone. Because there's a recognition of what? Authority. But sometimes even Muslims. Muslims can have disagreements about some issues, some philosophical issues in Aqidah, some abstract issues in Aqidah, in theology. They may have disagreements with each other. And in the middle of that heated debate about Allah, People are trying to prove their point and they're speaking about Allah as if they're just talking about any topic. Allah is not a topic. There's no secret conversation between three people except the fourth is Allah. No five except the sixth is Allah. No less than that, no more except Allah is with them wherever they may be. He's with them wherever they may be. And then he will inform them in great detail about what they used to do. The kinds of conversations they used to have. So Allah points at this defiance, this blind confidence. And these are the same people there's actually a place in Surah Al-Ahqaf. These people that didn't believe in Allah, made fun of Allah, made fun of revelation. They talked about it so boldly. They're standing there. يَوْمَ يُعْرَضُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا عَلَى النَّارِ The day on which these disbelievers will be placed right in front of the fire. The fire is there. They're standing right there. Allah says, أَلَيْسَ هَذَا بِحَقِّ Isn't this real? Allah asked the question to them, Isn't this real? <laughs> Because what did they used to say all this time? Oh, come on, imaginary stories, please. It's just fiction. Come on, grow up. The world moved on. Religion is outdated. Allah says, is that fire outdated? Is that real enough? Bala wa rabbina. No, no, of course it is. We swear by our Rabb. Ooh, new humility just spawned from within. You know, it grew from within. Fadhuqul adab. Then taste the punishment. I hope you guys enjoyed that video clip. My team and I have been working tirelessly to try to create as many resources for Muslims to give them first steps in understanding the Qur'an all the way to the point where they can have a deep, profound understanding of the Qur'an. We are students of the Qur'an ourselves and we want you to be students of the Qur'an alongside us. Join us for this journey on BayinaTV.com where thousands of hours of work have already been put in and don't be intimidated, it's step by step by step so you can make learning the Qur'an a part of your lifestyle. There's lots of stuff available on YouTube but it's all over the place. If you want an organized approach to studying the Qur'an beginning to end for yourself, your kids, your family and even among peers, that would be the way to go. Sign up for BayinaTV.com.